Hey guys, stay tuned. Papa Room's here doing a catch and cook air fryer squirrel. One episode you don't want to miss. Stay tuned. <laughs> You got him. Aww. All right, that's what you get when you tag team squirrel with your fiance. Good job, babe. How awesome was that? <laughs> She's all mad because she didn't put her makeup on. Where is he? Oh, there he is. <laughs> there he is, right there. I had to hit him in the heart. Yeah, I couldn't get him in the... Uh... Oh my God. I demolished him. Oh, well, that's all right. Oh yeah, no, we got the majority. Actually, what I noticed is it doesn't do a lot of damage to the bone, but we have all this. It can be good eating. Nice, eh? Happy with that. All right. I knew I saw a squirrel from far away. We're just walking, looking for sheds, looking for squirrel, and uh, we got him. Okay, so what I have is a zip tie, and I'm just gonna string them to my backpack and carry them that way. And the reason why is when you uh, go to, to gut these, if they're, when they get rigor mortis after a little bit, they'll get um, stuck in whatever position. So if they're laid out like this, well, it's a little easier, you know? I'm gonna pull one back leg and zip tie them around. And then he'll be hooked up. Or you can put them in a bag. That's it, and then I'll just keep putting them that way on my backpack. Well, now we get to eat tonight. <laughs> On to the next. Good job, dude. All right, so now that we're back here, got our squirrel. What I did was, I just want to explain real quick. I came home and I quartered it up. And what I did was I put it with ice water, cold water, I put ice and I put salt. And that draws the blood out of the meat. That's why it gives it a nice pink color to the meat. So, I just want to try doing an air fryer and see how it comes out. So what we're gonna do is, 
I got a concoction here that I made for my other catch and cook squirrel um, that I was out primitive. And this is just a whole blend of spices that I really like. So if you come here, you could take a look and I'm gonna put it right on top. This has all garlic and onions dried, has some adobo and turmeric, all different spices here. So I'm just gonna toss that up. Like I said, it's gonna be very fast. I just wanna give it a shot, see how it tastes on the uh, air fryer. Little dash of beer, tiny, tiny bit. That's gonna moisten it up a little bit more. Okay, and what that beer is doing, it's gonna make it a little bit wet. So when I add the flour, it's gonna give it something to stick to, okay? All right, that looks pretty good to me. It smells pretty good, what do you think? Smell that, how's this smell? You like that, right? Really good. Yeah. Okay, so I'm just gonna add some flour. Of course, uh, we're outdoors here and it's windy. If we need more, we have it. Very simple, very easy. Okay. All right, so now what we have here, we have the air fryer and I have this, this attachment to it. Inside here is a tray. Just gonna add a little bit of water because the first thing we want to do is pressure cook it for five minutes. I think it's like a 450 degree pressure cook. I'm just adding a little bit of water, not a lot. And after we pressure cook it, then we'll kick it on the air fryer and we'll get it to go crispy for about 15 to 20 minutes. So. I feel like it's gonna taste good. I think it's gonna taste good. Get right there. All right, so now that we have them all lined up, we're gonna kick this on, but unfortunately I don't have a plug here, so I have to go up there and we're gonna put it up and uh, I'll show you in a First, second. what we're gonna do is, cause I don't have the lid on, we're gonna just try to bake it. And we're gonna go up. I'll do temperature. We're gonna go to 400. And we're gonna do, let's see here, what do we wanna do? Time. We'll do 15 minutes. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just spray it down with a little bit of oil. And what that's gonna do is keep it nice and crispy. Flip it over, do it again. So now they're pretty much cooked through to the center. Now we're gonna air crisp them up. But I can tell they're pretty good already as it is. That'll just prevent it from burning. All right. And we're gonna go down in temperature. Air crisp. We're gonna definitely go down in temperature. 3.30. And time, we're gonna come down to 15. And we'll see at about 10 where it's at. <laughs> you can see your reflections in there. Okay. All right, I think we're finished. 
nice and crispy. Maybe overcooked on that one. Originally, I wanted to pressure cook this and then, like I said, pressure cook and then finish it up with the air fryer, but didn't have that option today, so. Take that little piece. You know how to eat it, right? You're about to bite into a rib cage. Cooked perfectly. Tastes good. Not bad. This is healthy. No deep frying. It is good. <laughs> 